start. Okay. So today we're here. We're going to explain the biological filter. The reason we started talking about it was because of this product. Instant Ocean's Natural Nitrate Reducer. And so I asked Shelly how it worked and she didn't know. So we're going to explain how all these things work. Okay. So you know when fish breathe, they excrete ammonia. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a byproduct of respiration because when they digest their food, then the uh, body cells have to get rid of the cellular waste, one of which is ammonia. So you get ammonia coming out through the gills, just like we get rid of alcohol through our lungs and our liver, but it comes out through our lungs. That's why they can tell breathalyzer. Okay? So ammonia is produced. Now, bacteria called nitrosomatis. I don't know what the whole scientific name is, but nitrosomatis is good enough. They eat, so to speak, that ammonia. Okay. So they oxidize it. All right. Okay, we oxidize our food. When you burn something, you're oxidizing it. When you have rust, it's slow oxidization. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So you're adding oxygen to it. So then another bacteria called nitrobacter bacteria, they oxidize nitrites. So you add a molecule of oxygen to change it into nitrite, and then another molecule of oxygen when the nitrobacter converts it to nitrate. Okay. Now, ammonia is toxic. At high levels, it'll kill your fish. At low levels, it irritates the daylights out of them, and it can hurt their breathing capacity because it'll tie onto the oxygen-carrying blood, and it won't let go. So it's like carbon monoxide. If you get carbon monoxide poisoning, you could die three weeks later mm -hmm. from what happened there because your cells haven't died off and been replaced. Okay? So uh, you got the ammonia to nitrite to nitrate. Now, the bacteria that converts nitrates to nitrogen gas, they need that oxygen because they live in an area where there is no oxygen. Okay, so the first two bacteria are aerobic. All right. Aerobic means oxygen using, as in aerobic exercise. You're working up a lot of oxygen to really get everything working. Places where there are no oxygen are referred to as anaerobic. Okay, ana meaning no aerobic, no oxygen. Okay, to chemistry professors out there, I apologize. Um, I'm probably not getting this 100% right. Okay, but good enough for fish tanks. So this natural nitrate reducer, what it does, it, re it promotes natural biological processes. You read the back, it uh, promotes the natural denitrification process of converting nitrate to nitrogen gas. The advanced biochemistry is found in nature and helps maintain healthy aquarium conditions. Instant ocean product. It is a wonderful thing. Okay, no, I don't work for them. <laughs> Although if they want to send me a check, I'll tell them all the other nice stuff, but they also got to put up with me if I don't like one of their products. But then again, I like all their products, so it's not to be worried. Okay. Anyhow, so to convert the nitrates to nitrogen gas, it needs certain elements. Okay. It's like you got to fertilize your trees, otherwise they don't grow. Right. They'll still grow, but they won't grow as well. Now. Downstairs, let's go downstairs. Okay, downstairs in my refugium, as my regular viewers have seen, we have what's called a deep sand bed. They just shorten her down to DSB. Okay? You used to be able to see it down here, but we taped that all out. So, here's where it is. Okay. So, if you look under here, you see there's these circles? These are pieces of PVC pipe that are approximately an inch tall. And then there is a panel of uh, egg crate. This stuff here was screened, okay? And it goes across the whole tank. And then I put beach rocks around the outside to fill up space. And then you use fine grain sand, okay? The coarseness of the sand is very important. Why? Well, the finer it is, the less uh, space in between. Right. And why is that important? Because it creates a dead zone. Right. 
Okay. If you have really coarse rocks in here, the oxygen can just come down and go around and around and around and everything's fine. It's all aerobic. So you have no denitrification phase taking place. This here though, because it's so fine, it compacts and then when the debris and the waste and everything settles down into it, it goes anoxic. Anoxic is another word for no oxygen. An, an you know, anaerobic. Okay. So then the bacteria down in the bottom in the center is non-oxygen using. The bacteria up at the top are oxygen using. So the water circulates down here really, really slowly. So slow that the bacteria on the top strip the oxygen out of the water. So that the bacteria down here have no oxygen. That way they can perform the denitrification. So they break the nitrate back into nitrite, back into ammonia, and then into uh, nitrogen gas. If the water with the partially broken down nitrate recirculates up, the oxygen using bacteria up at the top just strip her back to nitrate again. Nitrate is relatively low toxicity. Corals and stuff like that, they'll do fine under five parts per million. Fish will do fine up to a hundred parts per million. Okay? So, uh, deep sand bed is doing the same as the live rock. Because, you see your live rock in here? Okay? This is my filter for this system. All it is, is a plastic barrel full of rocks. They're live rocks, which is what's special. So this pipe here goes down to the bottom and across. The water comes in at the top, goes through the safety strainer. That catches the anemones. We're high tech around here. And it goes down. So this rock here is porous. And all the bacteria on the oxygen, outside are oxygen using. And the bacteria on the inside are non-oxygen using. So it's breaking down the ammonia to nitrate and to nitrate. Now the advantage of the rock is nobody's going to break that in half. Right. But if you came down here someday in a rage and you brought out a big stick and you jumped into this tank and you just reefed all back and forth and back and forth and broke up all that gravel and all that stuff, you'd get hydrogen sulfate, methane, and oh man, it'd be a disaster. Well, not really. <laughs> you'd put some activated carbon in and clear it up take it away. I was reading in the magazine that some people still believe there's something called a sulfur bomb. If you took a dead fish and you put it down in there under the gravel, mm -hmm. all of a sudden there would be a sulfur volcano where it just blew and every fish in that bubble would die. Okay. Mm, yeah. It's one of those myths. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard so many myths in my time. Uh, yeah, the people telling them believed them. Oh, yeah. And, and they're telling me very seriously. I had one guy tell me, a juvenile emperor here, see how he's got the concentric circles? Mm -hmm. And you know how a semi-coran has semicircles? Right. He told me that a semi-coran was just an older version of an emperor and that the circles opened up as the fish got older. Oh, man. Um, yeah, that was 25 years ago I was told that. So uh, we hear all sorts of stuff, but that basically is the ammonia nitrite, nitrate, denitrification to nitrogen gas cycle, done chemistry 10, okay, minus 101, because <laughs> we're probably not quite good enough for school. All righty, bye.